as I already said once, that Arjuna's difficulty in understanding Krishna was that there was no Chinmayananda between them. Supposing you have read this portion, what would you have understood? They are in me, I am not in the confusion. And the next stanza he says that they are not in me. You feel like saying that Krishna, go and sleep a little and then come back fresh. You are not talking sense, because it's contradicting. See? So Arjuna could not clearly understand this relationless relationship. Krishna anticipating that he will have confusion. He gives a beautiful analogy from the world outside. To drive home, to screw it into him. What? This conception of relationless relationship. Yatha, just as Akasha Stitaha, ever remaining in space. What? Vayu, air, sarvatraga, pervading everywhere, mahan. And this vayu, the atmospheric air, is very, very powerful. So long as it is quietly lying down, in a sattvic mood, we all it. If the breeze becomes a little more strong, Oh, it is very windy today. Let us go inside, isn't it? And the wind starts howling, and it slowly increases in its speed. 100, 200, 250 miles an hour. It has become a storm. It can sweep everything in front of it. All your technological development and knowledge cannot stop it. And don't forget, where does the storm exist? In space. Where does he create all these devastations? In space. And then what happened? The storm fizzled itself, exhausted itself by the time it reached San Francisco. Where? In space. Think. Did he break the space? It cannot. The mightiest of the mighty forces, the storm, rises in space, exists in space all the time, gathers its speed in space, devastates and destroys everything in front of it. Nothing can stop it. And after that devastation, the storm exhausts himself. Where? In space. And for all his might and glory, it could not bring a scratch upon space. Tadha, similarly, Sarvani Bhudani, all things and beings in the universe. Mastani, they are all in me. Ityupadhareya, well firmly understand in yourself, meaning. The first war, the second war, or the third war that is yet to come. They are all devastations, no doubt. And the wars end. All happening in him. As the storm destroys everything in space. Everything is done. I mean, uh, happening good and bad, all in heaven. But he is not affected by them. 